Uh, what's going on people, it's your man the YB, back once again, big shout out to my doggy, Adamski and Nick A for coming through and boosting up the coin. So, we got another crazy one for you man, right now. I did a video a few weeks ago on <laughs> Bivol and Dimitri Bivol's wife, they're going through a divorce and Dimitri Bivol's wife aired him out, aired him out, allegedly. Now, things are playing out now you've seen the title of this video i think she's a tweaker that's what i think going on. i think she's probably got serious um psychological issues leaning on neurological issues some of these chicks have genetic things as well it's not all environmental they have the way they're wired up they're they're wired up to start bugging they're, they're, that's what it, people where do you think the word tweak came from they're tweakers yeah they're tweakers man some females are designed to tweak so I think that's what Bivol got. Bivol caught himself a tweaker. And often you notice with the tweakers, yeah, they're actually the pretty looking ones. That's how it goes. People, God can't, all due respect, God can't make a big, ugly looking bird tweak too hard. Because the market ain't going to clear. No, who want that? Who want a big, round, bulbous female who too tweaking as well? It's normally the fine looking ones. That's how they lure you in. Yeah, like the sirens. They lure you in. Oh, that looks sweet. Mm, that's a sweet female. Two twos. Once they get you in, once they once the then tweaker females get you in their in their midst, in their web. You stuck. You stuck, and you sorry looking. That's what happened there. So, Dimitri got lured in to this siren witch's web, and now he paying the price for it. Here we go. Dimitri Bivol's ex-wife has leaked his injuries to Baturbiev. To be ever, I think it's the fight of the year, honestly, like massive fight. Who wins that one, Eddie? It's a 50-50, you know, if Bivol can do what he did against Canelo and keep him off him, I think he can win, but you've got to try and keep him off, you know. Did you see his wife's tweets the other day? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently she, tweet, she tweeted Baturbiev telling him all of the yeah. injuries and wars. Yeah, I mean, I think it's personal stuff, isn't it, that it's just, you know, shouldn't be on Instagram and he's just got to stay focused and get ready for the fight. You know, it's a very tough ask, but I believe he's got the ability to do it. And it's a great card as well. And then we, we leave there, and then two weeks later in Manchester, Catterall against Brogray, great fight, great card as well. And then going... So you heard the bars there from Eddie Hearn. Now, what was it specifically? Lucky for you, man, you've got the YB here to put your man on. Here is the specific allegations. So first off, she tagged Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, or better yet, she put uh, Baturbi, she tagged Baturbiev in there as well. Man, this is a trifling, this is a trifling trick. This is what they call tricks, people. Yeah, a trifling trick, a trifling tweaker trick. That's what this is here. It's not a woman. It's not actually what you can, what most people think about when they think of a woman. This isn't that. This is the Shaitan. This is the witch reincarnate. Yeah, a lot of you man don't understand. Witches were real. Do you understand that, people? It's not, it's not a supernatural thing, but it's the mentality. It's a witch here, for damn sure. It's a witch. That's why they. Well, you think they used to put these these thing, these tricks here on poles and burn them. No good. <laughs> no good for nothing but stress. You understand? So this is lucky. This is lucky. These are estrogenic, kind of low T beta time because we know what they used to do. These ones here, man. She on a stick. She be on a stick somewhere. A big pole somewhere. <laughs> I'm messing. I'm not joking, folks. It's YouTube. Yeah, I'm only playing. It's all, it's all comedy and banter. Don't put no bitch. Don't put no tricks on a stick, man. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> anyway, go. Here we go. So here's the actual thing. She must have tweeted him or DM'd him. Oh, she's sliding the DMs, man. After all the attacks on me from the whore Bival, failure to pay child support for his sons, and complete refusal to communicate with them. I want to tell you everything I know. He has stress fractures of a vertebrae on his back. All his hands have been operated on, and not just once. One elbow for sure. Very sore knees. His left ear is constantly swelling. It has been broken many times, and the fluid has accumulated in his eye many times. Sometimes he can't see well, but the main thing is that he is a coward. We need your victory, Arta. Oh man, this this is one trifling female, man. This is one trifling female. We need your victory, man. You fiending. This chick dangerous, man. If 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 Arta Baturbiev was Conor McGregor, i.e. 
a corny dude with no morals or qualms or whatever else. You best believe Beterbe would have given this chick the, the meat already. That's what he'd have done. He'd have given this chick the meat. And he'd, he'd have had Dimitri's sons running in the cut as well. Just giving her the meat. Whilst he's giving her the meat. <laughs> That's what he'd done. But he's got morals. I don't, I don't think he'll do that. But it's got to be careful. You've got to be careful who you not only dip your wick in, but who you shoot the club up with. If you're fixing to shoot the club up, you got to know the woman you're with, man, ultimately. And it looks like Bibble played himself. Now, as far as the specific allegations are, I think she just... Well, listen. Eddie Hearn, the way... Eddie Hearn's reaction to these allegations, he didn't blow it off and say, That's, it's BS, she's just gone mad. She's lost her head. He was quite like, oh, that was wrong to do that. So... On this one, I'd say there's no smoke without fire. Do I believe all of these things in here? No, the list is a bit long for me, and I've never seen any sign of it. I've never seen sign of him struggling for sight. I've never seen sign of his ear constantly swelling. Not that I would have done, but you'd think... Bivol's relatively active. He's not had two years off or whatever. He doesn't pull out of fights either, so it can't be that bad. It can't be all these things here. And if it is all these things, they can't be that bad, the extent to which. Often top athletes... They have a surgery anyway because they might as well kind of thing to, to make it even better. It's not always necessity. Beterbiev's the one who pulls out. So the truth is somewhere in the middle. I'm not sure what you... Even if all these things are true, how do you exploit it? Yeah. Really, it's still a fight. All you can do is try and punch him in the head and body more than he punches you in the head and body. You don't... Uh, it's not like we know one of his arms isn't working. I've seen him on the back. He looks just fine to me. So she's bitter. She really is bitter. And this last bit here, but the main thing is that he's a coward. We need your victory. <laughs> oh man, this is wild, folks. Wild. And all this angst and whatever else, it's not going to help Bivol, but I think Bivol's old school enough. Bivol will, ha will be able to separate his mind. Especially when that bell goes. When that, and that's really... The honest truth is... No, I'll be very surprised if any athlete... Once that bell goes... You're in there. People talk about... Oh, well, I've been going through a lot outside the ring. Maybe during camp you were. Which could then affect your... Your fight night performance. But people, listen. When that bell goes... There's nothing else... Even if you do sparring... Yeah, you can have really bad things going on in your life. Once you start sparring... I find it hard to believe you're anywhere else but what's in right in front of you. You can't be thinking about, like, for example, we can be at work. Let's say you sit behind a desk all day or you're doing some generic job or whatever job. You can be distracted when you're doing them generic jobs. When you're in the fight game, when you're having a spa or a boxing match, there's no way your mind's somewhere else. So particularly even more so Bivol, he'll know how to lock in. That said, of course, would it be better he had a great family life at home? Of course, but... That's not the case. I don't think it's going to carry much weight. The only thing it might do, from my perspective, is give me more confidence in Baturbiev. If any of this is true, even if one of these things are true, right? That's beneficial to someone betting on Baturbiev. We know Baturbiev's got injuries. We know Baturbiev's 45 trillion year old. Now there's a little bit out there that, okay, Bivar might not be as solid as... It's claimed. But again, it doesn't bear no weight for me, if I'm honest. It's just more tea and drama. And I've still got Baturbiev. I've heard, I've had some more confirmation on Baturbiev. Baturbiev fought Usyk three times and he put him down in each of the fights. I'm just waiting for confirmation from one of my Russian Donnies on were they all body shots? Because if it turns out that Baturbi have dropped Usyk with a headshot with them big gloves on and a cruiserweight and the big head guard on. <sighs> oh, we know, to be fair, it doesn't make a difference, does it, if he rocks Usyk or not. He, he, he can punch, man. I, I'm very shocked that Bibol's a, a decent favourite here. He's a 60% favourite, which is unthinkable to me. If you've got to lean anywhere, is Baturbi have on points. Six to one, folks. Get your coins in free money that's what it is I don't think Baturbev will stop Bivol B 
Bivol will be like Triple G in the third fight. He knows Triple G's, I'd argue, Bivol's even more defensively sound and solid than Triple G. That said, Canelo went aggressive and doesn't have volume and doesn't pressure fight like that. He doesn't actually put pressure on you. He stands in front of you with his hands up, but he's not constantly working you. So yeah, but Bivol's got better feet and he's got better cardio than Triple G did at 50 trillion year old when he fought Carrot Top the third time. My point is, these guys, these wily vets, top vets, like Triple G, they know how not to get knocked out. Now, that's my base case for Bivol. If things go left and he's getting beat up after eight rounds, he'll know how to, I believe, negotiate the fight. He'll be able to put enough feints in, he'll be able to put enough jabs in to keep Bivol busy. It's my base case, and hence, Baterbiev wins on points. Anyway, folks, let me know your thoughts. Do you think this is going to carry any weight in the Baterbiev fight? We'll find out. Team Baterbiev, man. I'm happy, for, to be quite frank, though, no, I'm happy for either guy to win. I'm not a... I like Biv, Baterbiev, but I like Bivol as well, if that makes sense. This really is a win-win for me. It's a win-win. I guess, to, for the sport's sake, it's probably better for Bivol to win. But then he's boring. But he's younger. We know we're going to get another five years of Bivol. If Baterbiev wins, he's popped the best guy. And then it's like, well... But I think Bivol and Benavidez will be a good fight. Why? They both can't punch with Toffee. They both can't punch with Toffee. I need to see Benavidez beat someone decent as well. I think Bivol beat him up. I think Bivol will slap his head off. Benavidez. He can't punch. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, folks. Smash the like button, subscribe, like off the bell. No doubt about this one, people. Stop it.